Welcome to the original Xbox Collectibles podcast. This time, it's all about neon signs. I'll show you all the signs in my collection, and then let's also talk about a few signs that I've heard about, but I don't have. Please make sure to watch till the end to see the holy grail of Xbox neon signs. Enjoy. So here is the Xbox Live sign. It's a fairly small sign made by Everbright. It's only about 14 and a half by six and a half inches large. It comes in this acrylic plastic carrier, which I think is great because it makes it easy to handle. Also makes it easy to mount on the walls because it got that, it's got that spacer automatically built in, right? On the back, you see here, made by Everbright, Union assembled, it's got this nice transformer on the back, this nice ballast, and overall very high quality. And uh, this is the only American Xbox Live sign that I'm aware of. If you know of any other types of Xbox Live signs, I would love to talk to you. And uh, please uh, maybe put a comment down below and let's connect. This is how it looks turned on. and. I have to say, I love how they matched the orange from the Xbox Live logo. That's really well done. It's high quality sign. You know, the Xbox logo is nicely formed there with the tubes, including the little dash on the left of the B. And then the Live and the orange. It's got a really nice glow. You kind of see that there in the white gloves, right? And uh, it's just super high quality. Very, very nice. These are also great signs um, to ship in, in very, you know, sturdy boxes, well packed with lots of uh, bubble wrap and foam. Because again, they come on this acrylic carrier, so it's a little easier to handle than some of these super large signs or some of these very fragile signs. Everbright, of course, you guys know that. Everbright is a company that made a lot of these, these signs, including all the Nintendo or most of the Nintendo signs and some other video game neon signs. I am aware of another Xbox Live sign from Europe made by the French company Diam. And uh, that one is in a metal box and is really designed to go on top of the Xbox retail kiosk, the European version. But unfortunately it's in storage in Europe and so I'll show that in a future video, but uh, it'll take a little bit of time to get it here. Here is the probably best known sign uh, this is from Everbright, and it's large. It's 32 inches wide, 8.5 inches tall, and about 3.5 inches deep. And what makes this unique is that it's got this really nice Xbox neon tube inside, which basically forms the word Xbox. Uh, you'll see that in a moment when I turn it on. But um, it also has this nice green glow through this transparent green plastic here. Um, and yeah, it's nice, sturdy. I have seen them break, unfortunately, during shipping. So if you do ship this, make sure you open it up, fill it with styrofoam peanuts, to make sure that the tube doesn't rattle around inside. Or better yet, use a shipping service. And, um, you know, it would be a tragic thing if these break. There's not too many of those. This is the sign turned on. You see kind of that green glow coming through the plastic on the side. And you see the formed tubes inside the sign, which I think is awesome. Especially in a dark room, this looks really, really great. You can kind of see that Xbox Word logo in there. This one is drooping a little bit. One of the little pegs that's holding the tube uh, has kind of moved down, so I'll have to fix that. But there you can kind of see the tube. And just another high quality sign from the Everbright company, the, the famous Everbright company. So this is super collectible. It's an awesome sign. It's it's large, right? It's three feet wide and a really, really desirable sign. Um, and just looks great in any game room or any kind of, you know, gamer cave, man cave kind of setting. Uh, what's interesting is there is also a sign that kind of looks a little similar, um, but was only available in Europe. And uh, again, I have a sign. Unfortunately, it's in storage in Europe. You'll see that in a future video. But here's a picture I grabbed from eBay, and you kind of see it. It doesn't have the Xbox logo, just the Xbox Word Word logo, and uh, I assume it's for 230 volts. Speaking of European signs, here's another sign. This was made by Jared Brothers, uh, who are out of the UK. Unfortunately, they're no longer in business. And this is a very cool sign because it's got this metal casing 
with the Xbox logo and the Xbox word mark. But then also this kind of green plastic band that you can see there and some of the neon light kind of glows through that and forms a very, very nice back glow on this plastic, on this kind of plastic frame, this corrugated plastic. Uh, it's a large sign. It's about 20 by 20 inches, four inches thick. So this is a hefty sign, also quite heavy because it's out of metal or at least a big chunk of it is out of metal. This is how it looks on the inside. This is a standard tube that you can you can find online to replace it. But the biggest challenge is this is for Europe, so it's 230 volts. The ballast is also for 230 volts, 50 hertz. You kind of see that right there. Um, so I'm I'm debating whether I should convert it or I'll probably just run it over a transformer and and see uh, if I can get that to work. But you see, super high quality. Now, one thing to watch out for with this sign is uh, it's a little fragile, and I'll explain that in a moment. So if you ever buy this online, please, please, please be super careful when you ship this. These get easily destroyed. I've only seen this sign twice. Once, unfortunately, completely destroyed. Uh, and then the other time, um, you know, it was just completely encapsulated in bubble wrap. That worked pretty well. So. What happens is this back plane of this corrugated plastic is very, very brittle, uh, this right here. And so if this is in a box and it gets bumped, those edges will break off. And uh, I'll show you kind of a hairline crack in a moment. This sign is a little dirty. I still have to clean that up. Um, but, you know, overall, it's in, in great shape. And like I said, it just looks totally awesome especially lit up. I'll show that in a future video once I converted the sign or, or got a transformer. So you see there this plastic, um, there's a little hairline crack right there. Um, kind of sort of see it right there, see? Um, so please, if you ship this, be super, super careful or again, use a shipping service that knows what they're doing um, because these are very brittle. Um, you know, they're 20 years old, so all right, so this is kind of a big boxy sign. There is another sign here in the US that you've probably seen before. Um, this is also made by Everbright, of course, like most of these signs. And uh, that's a big one also. That's about 17 and a half by 17 and a half in this kind of plastic tub. Uh, it's almost six or five and a half to six inches deep. And uh, it has a standard circular neon tube so it's easy to replace it's kind of got this snap in front plastic that you can take out and replace the tube and on the back which i love is this big xbox sticker uh, it's kind of a nice touch right it's got these little spacers so you can hang it against the wall and then you see these kind of hanging tabs there on the top and uh yeah i think that's kind of cool that they put that spacer there uh, those spacers and then uh uh, the tabs build right in, uh, super sturdy, and that nice Xbox sticker there. So that's that's great. Um, this is a great sign because this is fairly easy to ship. You see right here. Let me just uh, get the focus on this one. So this is made by Everbright. And, uh, you know, Union Assembled in Wisconsin. And um, what's nice about this sign is it's very easy to ship because it's sturdy and... Should the neon tube break or burn out, you know, easy to replace as well. And it's quite bright, uh, depending, you know, if you have a new fresh tube in there. Um, looks great. It's got this nice green glow. And you can kind of see that there. And uh, the shading of the Xbox logo there with that that uh, grayscale shading there, that, I have to say, it looks really great. Um, so a very, very nice sign. And I've definitely seen those on eBay before. Uh, they're, I don't think they're super rare. So they're certainly not as rare as that European square sign or, you know, the super, super sign that you're going to see at the end, which is kind of a holy grail, I think. Uh, so these, I think, are somewhat common. Common in quotation marks, right? Because we're talking Xbox neon sign. They're not, they're not super common, period. But... Yeah, this one is a little easier to find than the others. All right, so I just mentioned 
the holy grail uh let's talk about the holy grail of xbox neon signs this in my opinion is the most awesome awesome neon sign ever period um right up there with all the super rare ones um, you know from nintendo and, and whatnot uh microsoft logo you know got the xbox uh, logo on the left the xbox tubes there double tubes which i think is a really really nice touch and this thing is rare i've only seen two i've seen one about 20 years ago on campus on the microsoft uh, campus and then i saw this one not too long ago and just couldn't resist and uh, had to have it so kind of splurged on this one but yeah this is awesome awesome sign um very very sturdy it's got these metal rails on the back kind of see that there with this metal grip um, or you know metal hanger where the screws go in of course made by everbright very nice high-end ballast right this is not some cheap stuff this is all quality quality the other thing that i find very interesting is that this sign was made in february of 2001 so before the actual launch of the xbox and i'll show that to you here in a moment but so overall super high quality sign great kind of frame and carrier in the back this is going to be very easy to hang because of this uh, this handle right there here you see that uh, date code there right and um yeah the spacers uh then kind of screw into that backboard uh, that's being held up by these metal rails and then the tubes are mounted on top of that and uh, there's a lot of tubes as you'll see here in a moment i wish there was one more spacer there at the bottom between those two that seems to sag just a little bit but overall super super nice sign and um, I've only seen two of those, one at Microsoft in an office, and this was somebody that was related to Xbox marketing and uh, kind of merchandising. And then, like I said, this one not too long ago. And uh, yeah, couldn't resist. So here you see the tubes, and you see there's a lot of them. Um, every letter is outlined in double tubing, which is just really nice. And uh, I'll turn that on here in a moment, and then you'll see it. And then uh, take a look at that Xbox logo there. Yeah, look at that trademark symbol. Uh, that's the only sign I've ever seen, Xbox neon sign, that had the TM symbol in this kind of Xbox-style font with the uh, unique-looking M there. All the other logos... All the other neon signs, just a regular plain Helvetica TM. Uh, so this is something that's a little unique. And um, I don't know if these were really mass produced for retail or if these were just prototypes. So here is the sign lit up. And yeah, this looks just gorgeous. Really nice job, you know, especially around the B with that little extra piece of the B right uh, you know to the, to the left of it and um, the Xbox logo with the backlit and just super super high-end quality it's still very bright I mean this sign is 20 years old but it's still very very bright and truly one of the best looking most magnificent signs I've ever seen certainly for Xbox I think this is the holy grail so let's talk about the other two signs that I know of First of all, there is a Xbox sign that just had the X, you know, the original kind of direct X logo in a neon tube outline, green neon tube outline. And I saw that about 22 years ago. This was on the Microsoft campus in somebody's office. I have no idea if this was an official sign or if this was just somebody that, you know, had it made for himself. But uh, I know it's out there, at least one of them. Um, I would love to get my hands on it. So if you know of any, anybody that has a sign like this, please let me know. And then the other sign is just a simple Xbox kind of logo. Um, and I'll show you a picture of that in a moment. And if you know of any other Xbox neon signs, please say that in the comments. I would love to see them. Would love to see pictures or even may, maybe take a video or something like that. So anyway, here's the other sign that I know of. 
this is courtesy of Brandon from Grab and Go Gaming. He is the one that transported some of these signs, and I can only recommend using a transport service if you want to ship these. Please don't send them by mail. So this is also out there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe and like, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks.